Hello and welcome to our tutorial video on the DisplayPort Type-C RX tests with ValleyFrame. It is used to test a physical layer with Type-C DisplayPort devices. First, you click on the Configure DUT button. The main configuration panel will show up. First, you select if you want to test the DisplayPort sync, source, or the embedded DisplayPort sync. In this tutorial, we will focus on the DisplayPort sync Type-C. The user can select how many lanes he wants to test on the DUT. You can select the CTS version again and switch the DUT to the one which is going to be tested. In our example, we have selected DisplayPort 1.4. First select if you want to do testing in compliance or in expert mode. In compliance mode, we run all tests accordingly to the DisplayPort CTS. The test automation will provide easy pass-fail result. On the other hand, in expert mode, the user can change most of the test parameters. The expert mode will allow the user to go beyond compliance testing. In the lower part of the configuration panel, in SyncFi test section, the user can select the data rates that the DUT supports. Depending on what type of fixture the user has, the plug fixture can be selected here. As this is a Type-C tutorial, we select the LuxShare Type-C fixture. You can select the AUX controller, which is also named as the reference controller source. It is a remote control DisplayPort AUX channel controller that connects to DisplayPort DPT2100 AUX. The user can click on the query DUT capabilities to see if the AUX controller is properly connected to DisplayPort Sync DUT. Last, there is also an advanced test where you can select different advanced parameters. For example, use the differential probe for calibration if you want to test using the differential probe. Also, we have an option for default average values, which is used to perform the test multiple times to get an average value for the calibration and the test. To save time, we will unselect this option for this tutorial. Now you have configured your DOT, so you can now click OK and the procedure tree comes up. First part of the procedure tree contains the calibration procedure. The calibration is required in order to guarantee that ValleyFrame test automation software generates accurate signals. The second branch contains the actual test procedures. The jitter tolerance tests are available in the first subgroup. It contains additional subgroups for each data rate. That is RBR, HBR and HBR2. Additional subgroups are available for expert mode tests. When selecting any test, you can see the test parameters on the right side of the window. In expert mode, these parameters can be edited. When clicking right on any test procedure, you can see the related connection diagram. Once the desired calibration and test procedures are selected with a check mark, press start. Here you will also get the connection diagram. The test starts after you have confirmed with OK that the instruments are set up accordingly. During the test, a report is generated containing all the relevant information for this test. Also in the output console at the bottom of the valley frame, you see the progress information for each test set. After the test is completed, you can double-click on the test to bring up the results. This report contains the results of the chosen test procedure, including the specific test parameters. Hope we were able to give you an idea about ValleyFrame DisplayPort solution for Type-C. Thank you for watching.